was at the very end. Oh, that hook. Almost landing in the right hand from Ruiz. And now a barrage. The champ's in trouble. And down he goes. There have been quite a few legends in the history of boxing who have made a huge name in the industry as well as the world of sports. Right from Mike Tyson to Lennox Lewis, these boxers have created history time and again. Meet be for the fastest knockout or the time where they injured their opponent pretty badly. But it's also important to note that boxing has had its fair share of major upsets, and that's what we're going to take a look at in today's video. So without further ado, let's take a look at the seven biggest upsets in the history of boxing. Number 7. Anthony Joshua vs. Andy Ruiz Jr. In the third round of this match, Ruiz received a lethal blow that sent him straight to the canvas. He was quite shocked but managed to snap out of it and get back up and was ready to take revenge for what had just happened. So he threw in a flurry of punches at his opponent and one of these blows connected with his opponent's temple. Joshua was down but managed to get back up. In round 7, things got intense and Anthony was sent to the canvas by Ruiz after Ruiz threw in a series of lethal blows. This was the fourth time that he was touching the canvas and it wasn't looking good for his scorecards as well. Joshua was tired and in a pretty battered state by this point in time and he returned back to the corner in a pretty drained out state. This was quite an upsetting match as he not only lost this match but also lost the WBA, Super, IBF, WBO, and IBO heavyweight titles. Number 6. Mike Tyson vs. Evander Holyfield This match was action packed throughout the match, especially during the initial few rounds of the match. Tyson inaugurated the match with a solid punch that Holyfield took pretty well. In fact, it was pretty evident that Holyfield was throwing in a lot of punches as he was using that time to study Tyson's fighting tactics and strategies. This seemed to be quite useful to him later on in the match. Tyson would often throw in a left hand or a left hook, and from time to time, he would fire a right cross. After studying Tyson, Holyfield managed to surprise Tyson by tying him up, and this intimidated Tyson slightly. Back in round 1, Holyfield defended himself with counter punches, and in round 2, Tyson was sent to the ropes, after which Holyfield threw in a hard punch combination at him. In round 5, the punch combination that Tyson threw was immaculate and lethal, and that was quite a highlight of this match. In round 6, Holyfield threw in a left hand that sent Tyson to the canvas, following which Tyson got back up to receive punches to his head thrown by his opponent. In round 7, the boxers clashed heads following which Tyson seemed to be in excruciating pain. However, the match managed to get back on and in round 10, Tyson was sent staggering across the canvas after receiving a punch from Holyfield. Following this, Tyson was faced with a flurry of devastating blows. The 11th round of this match also played out in a similar way and the referee had to intervene and stop the match leading to Tyson's loss and one of the biggest upsets in boxing history. Foreman managed to get himself in a great shape as you can see. Now the intro Number 5, George Foreman versus Michael Moore. Moore was dominating the match right from the start of the match and even threw quite a few jabs at Foreman's face. Foreman seemed to take these punches at first, but due to the swelling that they caused his vision was affected during the later rounds of this match. Both the boxers threw punches at each other and at one point, Foreman threw quite a marvelous body shot at his opponent. To the place back inside the hearts and minds of all sports fans, not just in America, not just in Vegas. Following that, he threw in quite a few punch combinations that included jabs and crosses. Foreman was slowly dominating the round and when an opportunity to land a hard right hand opened up, he took it. This blow landed on his opponent's jaw following which Moore fell on his back. Foreman won the match when Moore could not make his way back up to his feet. Michael Moore needs to go back to working. That's it! It's a short right hand! There is no way he's getting up from that! Oh. Heavyweight title, Red Trunks, defending champion Vladimir Klitschko. The 
Number 4. Vladimir Klitschko vs. Corey Sanders Though some matches are scheduled to last a good 12 rounds, they end sooner than planned and this usually involves a knockout. The fate of the match between Vladimir Klitschko and Corey Sanders was quite similar as well. During the last few seconds of the first round, Vladimir threw in a marvelous jab at Corey Sanders, and Corey was alert enough to counter this back with a powerful left duck of his own. Following this, both the boxers got into a clinch and they were in this position for quite some time. During this clinch, Sanders got a golden opportunity to throw in a left duck and he did just that. This hook sent Klitschko to the canvas. Though he managed to get back up from that shocking punch, he was sent back to the canvas yet again. In round two of this match, Sanders showed no remorse and kept on hurling dangerous punches and punch combinations at his opponent until there came a point where Klitschko was extremely exhausted. Due to extreme exhaustion, Klitschko was not able to take the punches and was dropped a few more times to the floor in this round. Klitschko was down on the floor for the fourth time due to which the referee had to intervene and stop the match as he didn't deem it safe for Klitschko to continue fighting further. He stopped, I think, because Klitschko is rocking and rolling all over the ring. He goes down again and it is stopped. All One thing Jones told us in a Number 3. Antonio Tarver vs. Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. has had quite a commendable professional career in the history of boxing, but this one match against Antonio Tarver is something that he as well as the rest of the boxing world will never forget. Roy started off this match in high spirits and was the aggressor right from the first few moments of round 1. He used his trademark punches as well as speed to his advantage and dominated the first round with class. In fact, he dominated pretty well on the scorecards too, and this was not only on the scorecard of one judge, but on the scorecards of all the three judges. And there were booze in the house during the first fight from time to time, and already Jones is much more Jones tried out the same moves in round two as well. During the second round, Jones threw in a right hand at his opponent, which his opponent countered back with a left hook. Jones was down on the canvas on receiving this, and this was quite a shocker to all as Jones is not someone who gets knocked down easily. In fact, this was only the second time this was happening in his career. Jones tried to get back up but was too hurt and shocked from the blow that he had just received. The referee deemed the match unsafe to continue for Roy and stopped it. This was the first time that Jones had lost via knockout, and this was quite a big upset. Not found a way to be able to get a sustained attack against him. Number 2. Lennox Lewis vs. Haseem Rahman 2 Since these two boxers had already met in the ring before, they were pretty well prepared for what they were going to face in the ring on that day. Lewis had lost the previous match and was heavily determined to win this match, and that's exactly what he did. In this match, Lennox hurled a left jab at his opponent in round 1. This was quite lethal as it injured Haseem and opened up a cut above his left eye. Targeting with a jab, it's a disadvantage for Haseem Rahman from the get-go. Lennox dominated rounds 1, 2, and 3, and things intensified further in round 4. In round 4, Lennox hurled a left-right punch combination at Haseem that floored him instantly. Haseem tried to get back into the match by getting back on his feet, but after a few failed attempts, he gave up and the match was stopped. Not the counterpunch. Number 1. Mike Tyson vs. Buster Douglas Douglas knew that this match wasn't going to be easy and prepared himself pretty well to face the baddest man on the planet. Douglas was always on the lookout for an opportunity to land connecting punches, and he also ensured that his punches were swift. In round 2 of this match, Douglas threw in an uppercut to Tyson's chin that injured him. Douglas continued to keep up his performance and dominated the next few rounds with class. During this match, Douglas threw in a right jab at Tyson, which resulted in his eye swelling up. This deterred Tyson's vision for the next few rounds, which was probably why he lost the match. In round 8, Tyson was cornered against ropes and was faced with a few brutal punches. Tyson threw in a right uppercut that almost resulted in a knockdown. Douglas was angry and retaliated back in round 9 with a four-punch combination that shocked Tyson tremendously. Tyson was on the ropes and was faced with yet another punch combination. 
In round 10, Tyson was struggling to stand on his two feet and was faced with a flurry of blows yet again. In fact, Douglas even snapped Tyson's head back with a solid series of jabs punctuated by an uppercut. Douglas once again threw in a four-punch combination to Tyson's head, and Tyson was knocked out for the first time in his career. Landing these oh, nice uppercut by Boston Douglas. Look at this! He's knocked down for the first time in his career! Hope you enjoyed today's content. Make sure you subscribe to the Home of Boxing. See you very soon.